Time travel as a concept is so captivating that there have been multiple movies made on it in Hollywood. From classics like Back to the Future, Terminator, and X-Men, Days of Future Past, each of these movies talk about the ramifications of time travel on the present timeline. But how cool would it be if you could travel back in time to correct certain mistakes? Or just go straight to the future to check the outcome of a major sporting event or election? Sadly, such a technology doesn't exist. Or at least that's what we have been made to believe. But what if time travel is already possible? And what if certain individuals have already reaped the benefits and are continuing to do so? Would you be interested in knowing which celebrities belong to that list? And also if time travel is scientifically possible? Then let's jump right in. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Well, Einstein's theory of relativity and the space-time continuum established that time and space coexist. In this continuum, there are regions, called black holes, where the gravitational force is so strong that not even light or electromagnetic waves can escape. Connecting the dots from Einstein's theory of relativity and black holes, astrophysicist Professor Ron Mallet is said to have developed a possible equation for time travel. However, our current reality has witnessed the continuum of space-time since the 1940s. Donald Trump, Nikolai Tesla, and even Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, all seem to have lived through the space-time continuum. Let me tell you a short story. In 1943, two days after Nikola Tesla died, the FBI called an MIT professor and electric engineer, John G. Trump to look into the inventions Tesla left behind. Please note that this MIT professor is the late uncle of Donald Trump. While Trump's uncle didn't find any threatening inventions, theories indicate that the professor cleverly left out the documents proving the nature and possibilities of time travel by Tesla. He then used Tesla's theories to build a time machine. And conspiracy theories further suggest that's exactly how the Trump family has amassed their riches. The animated sitcom The Simpsons is hugely popular with predicting the future. One of its episodes shows Trump running for the presidential election, which came true in 2016 with Trump winning against Hillary Clinton. This is not the only prediction that the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, portrayed effortlessly on screen. In 1997, the show also predicted the outbreak of Ebola, which eventually became a global pandemic in 2014. Then in 2007, The Simpsons movie portrayed the whole NSA spying scandal, by showing them listening in on public conversations which came true in 2013. Right from corruption in FIFA to Lady Gaga's performance at halftime to Game of Thrones, The Simpsons gave the world more than 18 accurate predictions that came true. Coincidence? Or is Matt Groening also a time traveler like Trump and his family? What possible explanation can one chart out to the synchronicity of events turning true from real to real life? But how much are you aware of the many time travelers, or so they claim to be? In 2003, a self-proclaimed time traveler named Andrew Carlson created an uproar in the US stock market. In just two weeks, the 44-year-old turned his $800 investment into $350 million, leading to his arrest by the FBI. During interrogation, he confessed to being a time traveler from the year 2256 and was aware of the lucrative stocks to buy. This is where it gets even more intriguing. The FBI could not find any records of his existence before December 2002, which was three months before his arrest. As part of his plea bargain, Carlson offered to share the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and a cure for AIDS. However, on the day of his bail hearing, he disappeared on the way and was never seen again. A year later, 
Seattle attorney Andrew Basiago, rose to prominence for claiming to be a time traveler. In 2004, he began making claims that he time traveled between the ages of 7 and 12, as part of a secret US government program, that worked on teleportation and time travel. The secret defense experiment was called Project Pegasus. According to Basiago, Project Pegasus began in the 1970s and used children to carry out experiments. So they could be more adaptable to changes in space-time. Basiago claimed that he had traveled about five or six times to Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., on the night of President Abraham Lincoln's assassination. He also ran twice into himself during two different visits. Basiago revealed the involvement of multiple different technologies in time travel. One of the technologies was a teleporter based on certain technical papers, found in Tesla's New York City apartment after his death. Remember, Trump's late uncle investigating Tesla's apartment? Basiago described the teleporter as two gray elliptical beams about 8 feet tall, separated by about 10 feet. In between flowed the radiant energy that can bend space-time. However, his time travel tales leave behind various doubts. Then in 2006, a Ukrainian time traveler named Sergei Ponomarenko appeared in Kiev from nowhere. After being arrested on account of suspicious behavior, he provided a 15-year-old national ID card. He claimed to have been transported to 2006 from 1958 in an instant as he was trying to click a picture of a bell-shaped object floating in the sky. His vintage clothing, ID card, and the antique film camera he was carrying, added some amount of credibility to his claims. Though his camera had the picture of the bell-shaped object, experts determined that the film couldn't have been in good condition if it were from 1958. The shocking aspect of Ponomarenko's case is that he disappeared right after his medical evaluation. He was seen entering the ward, but never seen leaving. Authorities dug out his details from the 1950s and found his fiancée who was with him the day he disappeared. She confirmed that Ponomarenko had disappeared in the past too but always returned. However, this time he disappeared, to be never seen again. The last time traveler, to have jumped into our present is Noah. In 2017, he claimed to have traveled from the year 2030. He also claimed that by 2030, the granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr. will be the future president of the United States. He further claimed that humans will land on the moon by 2028 and in the same year time travel will be discovered. Well, NASA is preparing to send a crewed moon landing mission, named Artemis 3, in 2026. Noah also stated that Google Glass-style robots will take over the world, self-driving cars will be everywhere, artificial intelligence and virtual reality will be the truth of mankind. With ChatGPT and AI already taking over the internet, and Tesla self-driving cars racing on the roads, we might as well be living in Noah's predictions. A fascinating factor to Noah's claim is that he passed a lie detector test with flying colors. As per the scientific theory of relativity, it is possible to travel into the future, but not backward. And to experience the space-time continuum, one has to travel close to the speed of light. Or spend time in an intense gravitational field. A concept that was cleverly portrayed in the Oscar-winning movie Interstellar. Matthew McConaughey is still in his 30s, while his daughter Murph, who was 10 years old when he left Earth, is almost on her deathbed. Due to the time slippage, around 70 to 80 years have passed for those on Earth, while it has only been a couple of years for Cooper in space. Mind-boggling, isn't it? All this, coupled with the invention of the God Particle and the possible opening of a portal to another dimension at the CERN laboratory, led to speculations that are determined to shake the very existence of humans. So will time travel be possible in the near future? 
Or do our governments already have such a technology and are keeping it hidden from us? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.